Generic greetings and welcome to something a little bit different. Today's beverage is a lovely cup of coffee. So this is the Hunter Call of the Wild, or the Hunter Call of the Wild, as it should be pronounced, I guess, because it's a lowercase t, uppercase h, and there's no space in between the two words for some strange reason. But essentially, this is a hunting simulator. You go around a vast open world map and hunt all different kinds of animals with many, many weapons. And that's not something I have any real interest in, nor do we really have a widespread culture of that here in the UK. Fishing is more our thing. So you might be thinking, well, why on earth did I pick it up in the first place? Well, firstly, I saw the game and I was uh, astounded by just how beautiful the game was. And I thought, you know what, it's on sale at the time. And I thought, I'll pick it up and give it a go, try new things. And I found that I did actually enjoy it, but not for the reasons that I thought. I thought, oh, the attention to detail and stalking prey and stuff might be interesting. And it is, but I actually treat this game more of a relaxing, serene, ambient experience rather than anything else. And I've spent many an hour just wandering through the forest, taking pictures with the camera and check yourself. It's got day-night cycle and weather and many different variations in places you can go. And I think it can be a very relaxing game if you allow it to be that. And I've been playing it quite a bit as of late for two main reasons. Firstly, it had a free weekend, so some mates picked it up and we just blasted animals across the entire map uh, in court mode and also obviously getting out and about at the moment anyway is quite difficult if not impossible for many including myself so I find this is a good a good substitute not a perfect substitute for getting out into nature obviously but um, I do find it quite relaxing and I've been using it for that and I thought well if nothing else I'll show you a little bit of the game and uh, hopefully it'll be quite a relaxing and interesting video so I'm not going to go through, this is the tutorial, this is what you do, all that sort of thing, because quite frankly, I'm nowhere near qualified. I'm a pretty fairly, well, fairly terrible hunter in the game, so I'm not even promising we're going to get any kills, nor could you promise anything in this game. I guess like real life, it's nothing is for certain, especially when it comes to hunting. You could have everything perfect, but no animals come along, or you miss the shot, or you don't see them, or that sort of thing. But there's a couple of basics that you ought to know. So on the bottom right there, you can see we have our compass in direction of uh, facing there. We also have this sort of green green marker and that denotes the sort of wind direction and where your scent is going so if you're downwind to the animal then the animal will smell you and then run off. You have your health bar, which is fully green because I haven't been mauled by a bear or anything like that yet. We have our, our um, what would it be, our heart rate. So when you run, your heart rate will increase. So when you're looking down scopes, it'll be, there'll be more scope, like, waving and that sort of thing. You also have the visibility, which blooms when we're walking there. And that's based on the time of day, obviously day and night, the lighting, the conditions, your stance. So if I go, for example, near this tree and then go prone, I'm now prone in a bit of cover in some foliage where it's a little bit shaded so our visibility is very very low so the chance of animals seeing us there are quite slim and then finally we have one of the most important ones if not the most which is the sound and you make sound based on the type of terrain you're walking over, again your stance where you are, whether it's travelled, again I think the weather can affect that as well, but basically if you make noise, animals are here and then they will run off. What I'm going to do is go up to this elevated position that I've built and we'll see what we can see. So we'll get out the binoculars and we'll have a look around. I'm not I'm not really hopeful for anything around here because it's quite an open area and obviously animals are not wanting to just sit out in the open, but you, know, you never really know. So I'm looking over there, can't really see anything. Looking around, no, nothing really of great note there. We'll have a quick look on this side and no, not really seeing anything at all. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll fast travel back up to the top there. We could walk, but uh, we're going to go there. And then instead, I'm going to head over this direction because there's been some tracks. There's a hunting opportunity there, essentially a quest, and we'll head over in that direction. So I'll keep my binoculars out and we'll see if we can spot any animal. The type of animals that you can hunt, there's many different types across several different maps. This is the very base map, so uh, at the moment, our targets are most likely going to be rabbit, deer of varying descriptions, Bears that uh, you got brown bears and black bears. I think there's moose, mooses, moose sizes, mooses. I think it's just moose, as well as elk. I think as well. There's also duck hunting, but that's a DLC as far as I'm aware. In terms of DLC, there's quite a bit of DLC. I do own the majority of it, and a lot of like weapon packs, map packs, that sort of thing. I'm just gonna use this and have a quick look around. I'm not seeing anything there. What I'm looking for is movement rather than a particular 
prey or anything like that. Now, there are some tracks down here. I have no idea what they are, and I don't know how old they were as well. And we'll start tracking them. There's two, I guess, main ways to hunt. You've got your ambush, and then you've got your stalking. Stalking being finding tracks you know, slowly getting up close into a shooting position against the prey and then taking the shot and obviously ambushing, which is my preferred one, is basically to find a nice spot and sit and wait for a dozy animal to walk into your line of fire. But there you are. I'm just going to go up the edge here. I did see some movement, but it's, oh, it's just a little bit of fluff on the wind there or seed pods or whatever they are. And just taking a look over the top there. No, a little bit of movement. Beautiful lighting. I am fortunate enough that I can run this at absolutely max graphics at 2K resolution, so that is good. And, ah. We have got some tracks. So these tracks, you can see, go from one to the other, and it looks to be bare. That, that's bare. So, when we check them out, we can see level 7, going at a trot. That's on the top right there, and it's that direction. But we don't know how old they are. However, some droppings here. Check that out. That's moose droppings. So it's actually it's actually not from this bear. Right. Hunting bear is a problem. It's a very big problem because basically they've got very good hearing I think and they will detect us very very easily. So I'm not even going to try and stalk a bear. That's a bit more advanced for for us and also I don't really have the weapon for it. I'm currently using the very base stuff in the game so we go over to our inventory here I've got the .270 and the Ranger .243 so quite low caliber and like I say not something I really want to try and take a bear or a moose out with although rabbits and deer and that sort of thing is probably going to be okay for us but what I'm going to do instead is head down to this this is a resting zone for some black tailed deer I think it was and it's just past the time when they would use it however it doesn't necessarily mean that they're not there or ha haven't like sort of wandered around so I'm just going to creep through the woods here I'm not doing any sprinting I'm just doing a low crouch and we're just slowly heading towards that location you can hear the footsteps there the crunch of the leaves birds tweeting away and like I say I often find myself just walking through the forest like this Visibility is good, but any animal's visibility yours is also quite high. There's not much I can do about that at this stage. No. Let's get closer. Don't mind making a bit of noise. Because there's something around there. We we'll probably, probably would have seen it by now. Yeah, there's nothing there. Okay. We thought that might be the case. Let's put some distance between us and there. With this being like a railway track. Obviously they're probably not going to hang around there. Unless they've got cans of cheap cider, in which case that's probably the place for them to go. But... No, I can't see there. Okay. More tracks here. Looks to be bear. It's ah, and there's a warning call for a black-tailed deer. Okay, so we did some running there, and what's happened is they've went. Okay, I can hear some noise, so they do a warning call. That doesn't mean that they've ran off. It just means that they've alerted others of their kin and kind. So they're over there somewhere. I think it was. I think it was quite far away. I don't think it was very close. But we are not going to take any chances from now on. We're just going to get our sneakers on and stealth up. Because, let's see, if I start running, that's going to make them definitely leg it. doesn't mean that they haven't legged it either. It just means that they've been alerted. So they're on. They're a bit more vigilant now. Obviously, I am right in the open, but there's nothing between me and over there. So if I just do this quick, just do this low crouch here, I could do a, you can do like a little sprint. Oh, good grief. That's not what I wanted to do. You can do like a little sprint here when you're crouched and I think that's okay for this distance but let's say I'm not trying to hunt the the bear that would be probably a little bit I think that we're we'll punching a bit above our weight at the moment because I haven't got much stuff unlocked apart from the DLC stuff because you get that automatically which I would prefer to be not I would, would be rather than rather than you get 
given it as soon as you buy it. It sort of ruins the progression for me a little bit, actually. But there you are. Uh, straight across this ooh, railroad. There we go. Some tracks. And they're probably going to be on the opposite side of this. Now, I believe this gully goes down. Yes, it does. Yeah, we see we've had some success in and around this area. But I don't know what we're going to see. Mating call for a black-tailed deer. And that did sound close. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to get my bleater. Alright. And that might draw them closer. So what I'll do... Go prone. Get in this tree. And see if they come up and round the hill. But now we're closer. Hopefully we can start listening for them. And hear their track. And hear them move around. That's my intention anywhere. Let's see if any of that actually works out. So I'm not exactly stalking because we haven't been following the tracks. But at least it's stalking that we can get away without a restraining order, so that's always good. I've just realised as well that my scent is directly over there. So I'll use some of this spray. I think that will help that out. Yeah, this is a problem because my scent, they're right... If they're just over that section there, they're going to smell me. In fact, they probably already have done. So what I'm going to do is just creep up. This is the worst place for me to be because of where the wind is. So I'll try and get some sideways on. I'll use the bleater. I'm going to stop. Is that over there? Wait till Jack will the rest of the place. Okay. Look at that. Directly ahead. Couldn't have got any worse if we tried. So I need crickets and birds and that sort of thing, but I'm not see I'm not hearing any anything else. Okay. No. They're almost certainly scarpered. I'm hoping the wind changes. But it's not now. So you're just stopping now and again. Just to see if they start making noise. Or if I can hear them wandering around. Not seeing any tracks either. I'm hoping they're down there. There's some tracks. That's probably the bear. That was the last ones that we saw. There it is. Okay, black tail deer. Not a bad position we're in. Standard rifle. I want to hit it in the lung. Could go for a headshot, but I'm waiting for it to go side on. Then in the lung. So a headshot would be... Oh, I thought it was spook then for a second. No. Right. There we go. Good hit. And it's running. Might have hit it again. Okay. So. Whew. Not too bad. Let's go and check that out. So, back up to full running now. This is where we get run on. Blood. Blood splatter, vital organ hit. Right. So, let's follow the animal. So, we know it went over this way. And there's some more blood. Ah, so bleed rate medium. And I was going to follow it, but I just realised I can see it over there. So there you go. That was a little bit of the hunting. Not too bad. Let's see what we did. Confirm the trophy. 
So, we can see all the stats, so what class it was on the left hand side, gender female, weight, you know, fur type, that sort of thing. Overall experience cash we're going to get, that sort of stuff, and what we hit. So we said it's flesh and then it went into the left lung. So that's what we did. So not a bad hit, I don't think. I also find that shooting it from the front and getting the neck is a quite a good one. Hitting it in the head can be of some... It can be problematic with this with this weapon. You can get a trophy rating as well. And trophy rating is zero for some reason. Because, but you, all, all checks successfully passed. But we didn't get any trophy. That's a shame. You can, you can do taxidermy and get like trophies and stuff. But we're going to accept that. And we'll get the cash reward and the harvest. And that cash reward is based on things like your... Uh, you know, how good the shot was, and get all those little extra bits there as well. Okay. So, you can see now that because we've had some successful hunting around here, there's now more this purple, because it's, you know, hunt hunter's activity. So, animals are more likely to not be around here. But, we're still going to... I think what we'll do is we'll go a, a full run. I'm just going to put a bit of distance between those and where we were. And then we're going to st still head for this area. So that was good. I was happy with that one. We did. We didn't actually find the. We didn't find the bear. But to be fair, we did give up on that quite early on. But instead, it was more going to a position where we thought that was, and we heard the we heard the call, and we went towards it. So I'm so I'm seeing some tracks here, and they're obviously heading away. It looks to be. At this stage, I can't tell. Most likely to be, well, actually two sets of tracks. One there and one there. I'm hoping for another animal. Could be coyote, that. Could be coyote. That's bear, I think. Yeah, that's, no, that's moose. Is that moose? I think that might be moose track. That one. Let's have a quick look. How is it? No, black-tailed deer, again. Okay. Fine. We'll head over this way, then. Doesn't say it said it was running at it was going at a trot. I'm sure I just heard some mating call or something there or an alert. Well, we know we're going this way. I don't know how old they are, but we'll look at in this direction. You can see that the weather can change quite fast, but I mean, just the design and the, you can see it's like foggy and stuff like that. And you get lovely god rays when the sun's out. Birds up there. I'm not going to take a shot. No point. I think I mentioned there is a duck hunt thing in it, but that's DLC. So, still following it. Stop here a second. Depth of field being our worst enemy at this stage. And no. Okay, fine. So we'll keep going. We have to think, where would the animal be going to? Probably to the water's edge, get a drink, perhaps. And there actually should be... There's a need zone there for the, for the rabbits, and they could be down there. It's likely that they are. I'm not seeing... Oh, I was about to say, I'm not seeing any, but there we go. Oh, and that is a black-tailed deer resting. Looks to be a young buck as well. But that's quite a ways away. We're not downwind, but they are chilling out. You can see just how camouflaged they are. I mean, I can't see that there. It's only because I did that <laughs> that I saw it. <laughs> so we'll get a bit close and we'll take the shot. This time we might use... I don't know if we want to use a, a different rifle or not. That rifle was fine. I actually forgot to bring my crossbow. I do have a crossbow. Well, where there's one, sometimes there's many more. I see, I was looking for a rabbit, but... Doesn't look like we're going to get it. I mean, I'm not complaining. Just keep that spotted up. You can get better binoculars. Like, you get ones that can see through. Uh, you've got night, uh, night vision ones. You've got ones that give you distance to target. Because I don't really know what the distance is to that target. I might be able to find out. Because I do have a night scope which tells me the distance. But I'm, I only... Let's say equip it for certain things, well, night missions mainly, because that's, you know, name, sort of name, <laughs> clues in the title, in it? Right, so we'll go prone, and we might be able to get a better shot, although I have now lost it. There it is there. So it is lying down. What I'm going to do is actually just creep forward to 
push down some of this foliage here, like that. And then go back, and then the foliage should be a lot lighter. Alright. And, yeah, there we go. So it's quite a ways away. I don't know whether I want to take the shot, or whether I want to try and get closer. Let's get a little bit closer up here. It's not going to make much of a difference. Well, we know it's 43 metres to that resting spot. So, uh, sorry, 43, where did I get that number? 73 and reducing now. If we get it to within 50, that would be brilliant. I don't know what the ideal range for this thing is. Effective range, 150 metres for what we've got. We also have this other one. Wild boar and red deer for that one. But this one should be fine. But do I want to put some different ammo in? I've also got some... They've got polymer tip as well. Trades expansion for superior aerodynamic and penetration. Low recoil. And I think we'll do that. So, with the difference between the two... See, penetration is higher, but expansion is less. But if I'm hitting at this range, what I'm, what I'm aiming for really is... Like a lung shot, and ideally, both lungs. I'm not going to drop it in one. Not likely. Right, I think I'll just crouch from here. And perfect line of sight. I just hope it hasn't gone. Don't say I've lost it. I think, after all that, it has actually gone. Where has it gone? So, unlike you two have. Hurt. Oh, there it is. <laughs> just. It's wandering off. Okay, well, we'll take the shot while we can. We'll go prone again. Perfect side on shot for us, actually. And I'll... I can hold breath, but I'm going to wait for it to stop. Come on. I'm aiming for just behind the front leg. Uh, just behind the front leg. I'm going to have to take the shot out, and it's not going to stop. Better hit it. There we go. We got it. We got it. There's also a warning call for over here. But, let's go. Another good one. I think we hit it good once, and then the second one obviously is t taking it straight down. But I'm glad I changed the ammo. I'm glad I changed the ammo. The base ammo for the very first gun you get is just free. I think so I think a lot of that is the case. But the ones I've just used there does cost money. And obviously we get money by, well, doing what we're doing now. At least it stopped raining. Not that I particularly mind. So let's have a look. So that was probably the first hit there. Bleed rate very high. Oh, we might have hit the heart or something then. And then, oh, good grief. This It did a invite organs hit there, and then there's another one there. And Oh, right, okay. So we can see, there's the hits. So, the very first hit, flesh, stomach, liver. So there was a bit of... I was a bit too far back. The shot wasn't great. I've got silver rating on that, though, so I'm pretty happy with that. And that was 65% of the overall, like, damage, as it were. And then we've got the f uh, flesh... Right lung, heart, and then left lung. So that is pretty. That is instantaneous. That is just it dropped immediately, as you saw there. And you've also got your true score. You can see where we've hit it. You know, all the other stats there and overall rating. So we'll accept that. And there's our cash reward. Okay, excellent. So we'll continue on a little bit further. I wanted, like, say, I do want to try and get some rabbit, just because it's a bit different there. And um, we'll head down here. In terms of travel, obviously I'm just I'm just using Mark One legs, but you can get you can fast travel as I've shown you. And oh, what's that? ah, warning thump. Excellent. So we know they're down there. I mean, I've just scared them by doing this, but at least we know they are down there, and it's just a warning thump. Before I forget, though, let's put the <laughs> the pace ammo back in because we don't want to be shooting around with that because they'd just be a big white puff <laughs> and that's it it's gone <laughs> there'd be one foot left mm. it would just gone and just a power uh, just a, a puff of white as the rabbit uh, rabbit goes down 
Or maybe red, actually, wouldn't it? Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, as I was saying, travel. You can fast travel and you can also get a f uh, 4x4 ATV or quad bike, as I would call it. Uh, that is DLC, although personally, it does feel to be uh, almost a mandatory thing. Getting around on that is very, very good. If you just want to go from A to B without the fast travel, or you maybe you can't fast travel and you're not bothered about making noise, and that is, that is certainly the way to go. So, we're going to head to this where we've saw that while well, we've heard the rabbits we we are not heading towards that area i'm just wondering whether the rabbits have gone and once again i found myself downwind mm. just have a look around because you never know The thing with the rabbits is that you might think, ah, it's easy, it's just a rabbit, but the problem is they're quite small. I'm making all kinds of noise here, aren't I? Not much cover. There's the call. Yeah, they're still here. Right, so now we def now we have to play serious. No comedians now. Come on. <laughs> and let's see the sun's coming out. See the just the gentle change in the lighting there. And the birds start up again. I mean just the the crafting of this the world and the map alone is just amazing. So I don't know if there's a rabbit mating call thing that I can get, but I certainly don't have it. <laughs> so, it's down here, wasn't it? There's loads of droppings down there. What's that big tree there? Can I? Ah, I was going to say, I'm sure I can hear something. A good set of headphones is also <laughs> mandatory. But there's a rabbit down there. We saw that. We saw that. Okay. Good. Question is, how on earth am I going to get it? Because it's behind there. Okay. Just sneak up. Is that a mating call? Yeah. Probably be able to see that. No, it's over that ridge. I think it's just a case of get the gun now. If I see it, take the shot. Of rabbit droppings. Could be a rest zone there. A need zone rather. Not seeing rabbit though. Do we just want to get closer? Yes, I do. Can you rub it very close? There. What's that? That's not rabbit. That's another deer. That was a bad shot. So much. Did... Yeah, that was a terrible. Two terrible shots. Damn it. It happens. It happens. 
Okay, I think I missed it completely, you know. I'm not seeing any blood trails. No, no, missed it. Missed it completely, I think. Shame. And that's going to put all the rabbits off as well. They'll have scarpered. Let's go down here and see where they were. There you go. Drinking zone discovered. Yep, thought it might be something like that. Oh, well. I guess it would have been lovely to end on a another kill. But it just wasn't to be. It wasn't to be. All we can do is salute the map and call it there. Hmm, footprints for rabbits. Bit disappointed in that last one. Very disappointed. But, you know, sale of these things happen. Anyway, I think we will leave it there for now. That's been a little bit of the Hunter Call of the Wilds. Not the usual thing that I would feature on the channel, but I have been playing it, and it's something that I have very much enjoyed and spent a fair bit of time relaxing on. So hopefully, if nothing else, you've got some entertainment out of it, or just found it quite relaxing, and at the very least, maybe had a good chuckle at me missing that last shot up. They always say you remember the ones that get away, but as I said, not a game that I would binge. It's something I play for an hour or two and take in the sights and sounds and take some shots, some of them better than others and I find equal parts relaxing and exciting with you know just walking around and checking out the scenery and just being in the world and also the other side of it when you get that really good hit like we got on that second deer with the second shot you know absolutely perfect and stuff like that I find that yeah that I, there's something about it that uh, grips me quite a bit either way hope you have enjoyed it and if you want to see more than by all means let me know in the comments just hit us up in there and links in the description if you want to check the game out yourself thanks very much for watching take care stay safe and generic partings <laughs>